Hey everyone, today is a bit of a different twist on this tutorial because I had gone to a salon for my close friend's birthday parties and we had gotten our nails painted there and our toes. So I already have my nails painted and this is Melon of Troy by OPI. Um, I only own some OPI nail polishes and I do not own this one which is, I thought it was really pretty. It's like a, like a shiny, pinky, coral kind of color. So that's what I'm going to be using for the um, base color of my nail tutorial. So the first color I'm going to be using is Sally Hansen New Length in the color Party Girl. And it's a bit, it's like almost similar to this color, but it's a bit more vibrant and more of a hot pink kind of color. And this is from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This is in the color Blackout. It's just a regular kind of a black color. And this I'll be using for my top coat. It's from the same brand as the black, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. And is in the color Invisible. So it's just clear coat. And then I have these two Art Deco um, nail polishes. And then this one is in the color white, just white. And this one is in the color, <clears throat> I can't find it, rose, found it. Okay, so rose and white. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your white and pick and shake it a little bit like that and pick a desired finger to do your little beanie thingy on. So I'll be doing it on my ring finger and then the first thing you want to do is just make a little circle like that on your nail. So I'll do that. Like that. So, this is my ring finger. It's half of a thing like that. And the next thing you want to do is dip it in your nail polish again, like this. Just re dip it. And, and then do lines above it. Like that. And it's okay so when you get on your finger, you can clean it up afterwards. Okay. And then, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but the utilities you'll need is an old makeup brush for the end, at the end of it to make big polka dots, some toothpicks, a dotting tool or bob pin, and then some pieces of paper just to put all of your polishes on. So the next thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is get a sheet of paper like that <coughs> and get the blackout color and put it, oh, stuck. okay, and then put it on the paper like that. Just a little bit, like that. And then get your bobby pin or dotting tool. And then dip a little bit into the polish so that it's saturated. And then put two dots in the little empty space that does not have any um, white on it. Like that. So those are little eyeballs. Then you're going to wipe off your thing, your uh, poly pen, that doesn't get any... Um, dried nail polish on it. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is get your little white striper again and put a very, very small amount on the paper, right beside the black. So it's right there. And then get your toothpick and dip it in the end of it. And then do two little white dots on top of the black dots. Ooh, wrong color. I'll put around. 
you can keep going over it. It's a little bit darker. There. Now he has the light balls. Okay. So, that's his little face. And then, what you're going to want to do is get your Sally Hansen color in Party Girl. Or whatever color. It could be like any pink that you have. And also place that onto the paper. And it doesn't really matter if the what the white stripes are still wet because oops, that's dripping a little bit. If they're still wet, because you're just gonna the hot pink is a brighter color than the white, so it doesn't really matter. And then you get the end of your makeup brush and dip it in like that. It doesn't need to be too big, step off any excess, and then just Dot the sides of your little guy's face. A little bit more. Oh, got stuck to my hand. There. Some little hot pink dots. And I did get some on my finger, but that's okay because you can go over it. So you can keep making it bigger or smaller. Or with like, you can make it smaller with the nail polish remover. But I'm going to keep making it bigger. So it looks like he's really blushing. And then you wipe it off. Okay. So then you have that. And you can get your other toothpick. I got two. And you can even wipe off the nail polish with the white with the toothpick. Just so that it's not there when it dries. So you'll have some he looks like that. Then what you're gonna want to do is get your black polish. And re dot it onto your paper like that. And get get your toothpick like that, the black, and make a little two little triangles to make a bow. And my method of doing this is just dotting it in a triangle shape and then filling it in. So dotting like that. Now it has a little bow. And then you can get your white again and you dip it in there. Oh. And you put that right in the center of the black polish. It's got a very, very small white dot just to kind of divide it up. So that's his little face. And if you want to have all these little guys, on all of your fingers, then you can just repeat all the process of um, of what I just did, or you can keep watching and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing on the rest of my nails. So, let's get your white striper again, and wipe off any excess so it doesn't drip and don't waste anything. Go like that. And then, just make three, four, however lines you want to make on all of your nails. And make sure that if they're kind of streaky, to keep going over them so that they'll get a little bit um, more opaque. That have little stripes. And I'll do that on all my fingers. And the wider the finger, the more lines it will put. Like, I mean, the fingernail. Sorry. Put more. Polish on my brush. There. Like that. So now you have little lines on all your fingers. And I'll do it on my index finger. Like that. Now last finger, which is your thumb. 
I want to keep thinking of bringing her this. Yeah, I won't be able to. I'm sorry. I'll just. But it's basically stripes, it's not nothing fancy. So let's do that. Now you have all your stripes on your fingers and when I did them they turned out pretty opaque but there's just one or two that are kind of still a little bit too light so I'm just going to go over those ones. Okay so I like the way this turned out. So then you get a piece of paper again and this part you can really go fun like all out with. So then you get the color used for his little cheeks, the color used for his bow, which is the black, and then you can get your hot pink striper. You get all those. Then you make, you get this color, the rose art deco striper, and you put a tad bit onto the paper. Like that. And then this part you'll be using all your tools for. So you'll be using the fat out of your makeup brush, your toothpick, and your body pin to make three different size dots. So this can change up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hot pink color, the rose, and I'm going to put some random hot pink dots on my nails. Like that. So I put three hopping dots. And then I'm going to check if my black is still a bit runny. It's a bit, a bit too goopy, so I'll have to re dot it. Okay. Open it up and put some more dots. Like that. And then I'm going to be using my toothpick for this part. A little bit black and just dotting very, very small dots onto my hand or nail, sorry. Like that. So now I have little black dots and whatever. And before I get into the bigger dots, I'm just going to go back with my um, bobby pin and get and put the rows on all of my nails so I don't waste it or anything like that. I don't waste it. Put some hot pink dots all over your finger. Let's put a little bit more because the first time I didn't I didn't put a lot. Okay. And if you think you can't recreate the little beanie guy on your non-dominant hand, then you can just put the stripes on all of your fingers on the on your uh, other non-dominant on your non-dominant hand, so that it'd be easier for you. But I'll probably be too trying to do this little beanie boo guy. Okay, now I have all my hopping dots on all of my fingers. I'll be getting my black once again. Dipping my black nail polish and putting the black dots kind of close to the pop pink dots. Not like right on top or beside, like slightly close, but not really. And then the last one. like that. With all your nail polish. Now, you're going to get one this color. Your party girl. Or whatever pink you decide to use. You can even use blue or purple if you want to, but I just think pink would look better with the melon.